Then what a circus, man. Circus, circus. Clowns and monkeys are out to play, man. So if you don't know, Hassan Campbell dropped some allegations that, you know, weren't widely known. Now, it's said by WAC 100 that this was already, you know, known information. It's not really a secret like that. These allegations about Nipsey Hussle being gay and all of that. Now, you know, I don't give a fuck about a person's orientation. But, you know, it's a lot. What I want to talk about is a lot bigger than that. You know, what a person does in the bedroom, you know, doesn't matter to me. You know, everybody's got a lot of flaws and crazy little kinks and little shit like that. You know, all these, there ain't nobody perfect. But, yeah, it's the circus, man. It's all stemmed from, you know, the little crazy little circus show podcast, man, and, uh, Hassan and 6ix9ine and WAC 100 had on a uh, academics platform. And it was crazy. The, the, the whole thing was just it was all over the place. Now, Hassan was saying some, some powerful stuff. Hassan was saying some powerful stuff as he, you know, as he always does. I like Hassan Campbell. My only criticism of him is a lot of times, man, when he gets in front of cats, man, is is his whole energy changes. His, his whole energy changes, you know, all the stuff, you know, uh, you know, I can understand, you know, being respectful for a cat and stuff like that, but it's just, he don't have the same energy he does, you know, as it's on the videos and stuff like that. I'm not calling him soft or anything like that. I'm not trying to, you know, down the Sean Campbell or anything like that. It's just, you know, you know, it's, 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 it's kind of glaring. And it was brought up, you know what I'm saying, in the, you know, the interview afterwards. But, you know, like I said, I, I'm, Hassan had something else, man. He, he, and as he always does, he he had a message that he wanted to get out. So all of the antics and stuff like that and Wack going up there and asking him about, you know, some other stuff. Asking him about his past and all of that, which he's been asked a million times. Uh, you know, it seemed like there was kind of trying to play him, but nah, man, Hassan has some deep stuff, you know, he has some deep stuff to say, man, including the part where, you know, you're talking about uh, making sure the soldiers make it home, you know what I'm saying, not throw them in a situation, and I've said that plenty of times, you know, jumping into situations, you know, it's, it's a lot of times these rappers go ahead and decide because they got people around them not just rappers but people in general you know your friends you may know talking to the list and you got a cat who may you know start acting reckless because you know they got people around them but they throwing you in the in the line of fire they putting you in a situation where you might have to react where you could possibly react and have to you know kill or be killed you know what i'm saying want to minimize that type of stuff as much as possible you know you only want to react when you know you sense a uh you know a, a threat meaning you know and not wait till an action is taken but you know get proactive once a sp specific line is crossed and line as in you know you'll you know say somebody's following you or something or you know you tell them hey don't step past that certain point, you know what I'm saying? When you, if they trying to make an advance on you and stuff like that, man, you got to do what you got to do. As far as words being the line that's crossed, you know that you just open yourself up for a lot of different stuff, man. You make it a little too easy for you to throw your you, your life away or your partner's life away. Uh, but man, yeah, the whole thing, man, was crazy, man. Uh, I ain't gonna fault him for sitting down and whatever with him. I wouldn't, I wouldn't sit down with 6 9 It's nothing, to, you know, new for me to hear. But I mean, 
I get it. I get what a song was doing, especially when you listen to his live afterwards and you know the way he's framing it. Even the way he framed, you know, the king coming, calling him a king. Cause, you know, yeah, now king, I've always said, like I said myself, king, it doesn't necessarily mean good. We like to frame it in the context, and I think that's how WAC 100 was taking it, that, you know, he calling him a king as if it's, you know, a good thing. Kings are, kings are oppressive people. I've always said that, and I've taken flack for saying that. You know, you're much more than a king. Kings have always been oppressive, and they think they're, you know, they're above everything. But, you know, he's basically saying he's got the ears of a lot of people. That's what, you know, Hassan believes. I, you know, uh, I haven't taken a look at the numbers, but I'll take their word on it. They're saying he's still, Takashi 6 9 still doing good numbers. I, I don't know what type of attention it is. If, you know, it's just people coming to see a train wreck or, you know, it's, it's, um, uh, or, or what it is, or, or you know, how would that shit play out as far as this album sales and his actual, the actual money that he's getting, the actual revenue that he's bringing in? But it's it's something going on, you know. The industries they investing in this dude, the whack one hundred sitting up there managing him and stuff like that. There's just a lot of shit that goes on behind the scenes in the industry. It's a dirty fucking game. It's always been like that. And so you got this, you know, all the back and forth with uh, Wack and Hassan and all of that. And then Hassan drops this because he was, you know, allegedly allegedly on a phone call. Well, I'm not going to say allegedly because Wack confirmed the whole thing. But he's on a phone call and he's recording the call. It's between Wack 100 and Big U. He's on the phone with him and they discussing talking about how uh and i haven't heard the whole audio but i heard the piece and like i said whack didn't you know uh dispute anything hassan was saying he said it was all true he basically said it makes hassan look bad because he's secretly recording him behind the scenes not being up front with nothing but yeah it's uh That's crazy, man. Now, I don't, I really don't know what all these people are coming at WAC 100 for. Now, I think, like I said, all the back and forth, man, I'm tired of all that shit, you know, online and folks funking, but, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. Now, uh, but I don't know why. I'm, they mad at Wax 100 and they saying, you know, Wax disrespected Nipsey and all of that shit. I mean, if something is potentially true, we don't know what is what because everything we get is secondhand knowledge. So, you know, it's everything is alleged. But, I mean, is he disrespecting them for telling the truth? And then on top of that, he didn't leak this. Now he says, now WAC 100 says it's been talked about all over in the club, I guess over in Clubhouse or whatever it is, it's already a known thing that Nipsey was, you know, has a sex tape out and was paying dudes to bang his BM, uh, Hassan Campbell. Uh, and like I said, I haven't heard the whole thing because the whole audio is on his Patreon. But Hassan Campbell says... Wack 100 and Big U are referring to Lauren London, and they was extorting her, you know, extort, extorting Nipsey and extorting her on 30% of, you know, the business and everything well after Nipsey was gone. So I don't know, you know, what's true, what's not. I haven't heard the whole thing, but, you know, I heard the little pieces, and like I said, Wack corroborated the story. Um, but, you know, why they mad at him when he's not the one that Shouldn't be mad at nobody, but he's not the one that put it out. And what are y'all mad for? Because these guys, man, these guys, y'all, y'all, that's why I tell you, you can't be worshiping these dudes. And they die, y'all sitting up there talking about, you know, uh, you know, they were the second coming of Jesus. A lot of people did that shit with Nipsey. 
Now, and I fucks with Nipsey. I always rock with Nipsey. I like what, you know, what he stood for, what the image stood for. I don't know the real man. I don't know what he had going on behind the scenes, but y'all can't be worshiping these cats because y'all don't know what they got going on. They, they man, they, you know, they human beings. They believe just like you and I. I like this message and this music, the stuff that you can take from different people. That's what you're supposed to do from anybody. You're supposed to take what you can and apply it to your life. To take the positive things, but you know, worshiping and you know, all of the other stuff, man, it's, it's crazy. You know, Wax got his right to have an opinion just like everybody else does. He said people didn't like, they say he keeps disrespecting Nipsey or somebody need to do something to Wax because he keep disrespecting. Why? Because Wax said Nipsey, before, t before Wax said Nipsey wasn't a, a, a legend, that's his opinion. If you able to come out and say he is a legend, somebody's able to come out and say they don't think he's a legend. It wasn't disrespecting because he laid out every reason, the criteria on why he thought that. Now, I don't know if he said anything else, you know, about him, but yeah. You know, and as for the stuff, you know, Big U and stuff like that, a lot of that stuff is look murky too. There's a lot of stuff that, you know, don't seem right between Nipsey and Big U shit didn't seem like it was on good terms and stuff like that, but I don't know. Man, we all just from the outside looking in, man. The industry's a whole circus, man. The industry's a whole circus. I don't know what it could have been about. You don't know what the murder could have been about. I said from the beginning, it could have been... I put I put it out there the possibility that it could have been his own game, especially when you got the police coming out saying that you know he was supposed to be meeting with them to, to find out ways to improve and clean up the community and stuff like that. The day the day you know he was playing the day after he was murdered, he was playing the, the next day he was scheduled to meet up with him. You think a lot of the gang is gonna go along with that? You heard cats talking about, you know, he thought he was above the game. And stuff like that. You think they gonna go for that? Ruin they operation because he wants to see his own because he wants to see his own vision for the for the folks. So you don't know what goes on behind the scenes. It's a lot of crazy stuff. Saying it's a sex tape with him, uh, with Nipsey, and he paying dude to bang his girl, and she's sucking the dude off, and then she got the the, the, the nut in her mouth, and then Nipsey kisses kisses her with the stuff in her mouth. Oh, it's graphic. It's, it's a whatever the description is, but you know, who knows what these people are in? Oh, it's, it's all across Hollywood. You don't know how these dudes, y'all be thinking that they, you know, they, they sell you these rags to riches stories, but you don't know how these dudes then got on. There's a lot of people like that. They tell you this stuff because they want to sell you down there, you know, think you can make it too, just off of, you know, your hard work. And that's not to say that there ain't people, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. There ain't people that have just made it strictly off their hard work, but these people know what to do. They got to play the game. You know, case in point, think about like with 50 Cent. Think about 50 Cent, and I fucks with 50 Cent. But you see how uh, not too long ago, how Royce the 5'9 had to call him out because when he was clowning Little Kim. But when it came to Madonna, uh, 50 went and apologized for clowning her. Because, you know, Madonna's got power in this industry. Whereas someone, you know, woman like Little Kim, a black woman, May not have that same backing. And also, he had to make shit to get his name on the start, the Walk of Fame and shit like that. He had to make shit right with Jimmy Iovine. Because he had beef with him for years. You got to pl play the game with them, them white folks in the industry. Look at what they doing with Will Smith. Stuff that ain't even got nothing to do with Oscars and stuff like that. All of these people, because they all connected. Because they know, hey, 
the powerful people, if they work with Will Smith, they'll get their shit yanked. So they backing away because the big dog's saying back away from him. And pulling his production and stuff like that, all of this stuff, man. They want you to bend the knee. Nipsey wasn't independent like y'all think he was. He was signed to labels. He had Rock Nation behind him. He was signed to Atlantic. What was the details? I don't know. But I like what Nipsey stood for. I like this content of his music. I fucks with Nipsey. But, you know, this God, you know, this thing, you know, worshiping him as a God or, like I said, the, the, the Christ consciousness, all of this stuff. And, and, and that's bullshit, man. He was a man. He had flaws like, like the rest, man. I'm not saying that this is true. I don't know, but hey, you know, even back when Wack 100 don't even seem he's never seemed like the cat type of cat that lies about something. So I don't know. I don't know what Wack 100's position in the game is either. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's, like I said, it's all the circus. Stop worshiping these people. Just take the message, man, and do what you can. Take the game that they give you and take it somewhere else. And understand that, man, all people are fallible. Doesn't change, you know, like, man, it it's, doesn't change my, my opinion on Nipsey Hussle or anything like that. It made for you if you viewed him like that. If you viewed him as, you know, flawless. Y'all think, you know... Looking at them, Lauren London, relationship goals, just like you're looking at Will and Jada, relationship goals all of these years. And be your own goals. Your relationship, everybody's, their relationship with the wife, or whatever it is, it's, it's all different. And I, like I said, I don't know if it was really Lauren London. Son Campbell says it was Lauren London. I don't know. So, it's all all craziness, man. All crazy, man. Uh, shit, Hassan Campbell's gonna have a lot of people at his head now. You know, I, I hope he, you know, he stays safe, stay dangerous out here, man. Keep his, it, you know, keep his eyes up, cause, hey. You know them dudes ain't gonna just take that. Gonna let you put that out on them. And they just gonna let it, you know, they may act like it's, you know, whatever, you know, it's already known information, stuff like that. But, you know, you talking, you, you putting it out there even more. It really wasn't known like that. It may have been known amongst their circles, but not to the public, so. I don't know. Let me know what y'all think. Add on to this conversation. I gotta uh, keep it moving. To add on to this conversation, anything you think I may have missed within this, uh, you know, let me know. Let me know where you think I'm wrong or anything, and I'll let y'all later. Let's talk about it.